The main setting of Hearts of Stone is uh, the Greek island of Lefkas. Um, I didn't actually have any intention of writing this novel until I went to Lefkas to research a completely different book. And it was whilst I was out on a, a boat trip to Ithaca that I came across a plaque on the cliff above the small bay of this port on this Greek island, which said, in August 1942, Lieutenant something, something or other of the Royal Hellenic Navy had attacked a German e-boat in this bay. And I thought, and it just, it was weird, because it was uh, the most peaceful, serene setting you could imagine. And yet there was this sort of shadow of this conflict, this vast conflict, um, that when the tiny, one of the tiny ripples of it happened in this particular bay. And over the course of the trip, the research trip, um, I came across other uh, instances of little stories about what had happened on this island during the Second World War, and began to sort of piece the thing together. And it... I mean, it's, it's difficult not to be impressed by the Greek Ionian lion, islands. They're an absolutely fabulous setting. And it's just so hard to imagine this as a war zone. And so, I, you know, that's how the interest in this story uh, began, be, uh, began. It was just simply that sort of clash between the peacefulness of the present and the, what would have been a pretty horrific war zone in, in the past. And as we you know, know from the history books, Greece was badly affected by the Second World War. We're talking about a country where a quarter of a million people were starved to death under the German occupation. So there were some fairly horrific stories to, uh, to uh, learn about in this. And, and it was an opportunity to uh, you know, just remind people sometimes. I think it's, I get a bit sort of disturbed sometimes when we wander through this world without any kind of awareness of what happened before we were there. Um, and it's just a nice opportunity, this book, Hearts of Stone, just to allow the, the past to come back to the present again.